Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with more Job, as I have been doing for the past few weeks, and will continue to do so for do three weeks somewhere around about got a few more chapters to go still loving it still going strong and today we're in chapter 20 Zophar is Zophar the Namathite actually is still talking to Job his friend and rebuking him for things that he did not do however whereas he's wrong like Job's three friends were throughout the entire book I want to take I want to like look at this from a different angle it, what Zophar says is true. What he, I, and I mentioned this in a, um, I forget at some point in the previous episode, talking about how these guys, they're saying so much truth and they're just so completely incorrect because they're talking to Job. But the statements in and of themselves are not false. I'm going to start at verse four, and I'm going to um, read a few verses here and there. Do you not know this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment? Let's hop over to verse 12 as well. Though evil is sweet in his mouth, and he hides it under his tongue, though he spares it and does not forsake it, but still keeps it in his mouth, yet his food in his stomach turns sour. It becomes cobra venom within him. Let's hop down to verse 24 as well. He will flee from the iron weapon. A bronze bow will pierce him through. It is drawn and comes out of the body. Yes, the glittering point comes out of his gall. Terrors come upon him. Total darkness is reserved for his treasures. An unfanned fire will consume him. It shall go ill with him who is left in his tent. And while it does seem that sometimes the wicked get away with a lot of junk down here, what he's saying is still correct. A lot of the times, a lot of the times, those who do evil, those who do wrong, they're caught. They're busted. They pay for it. They're either killed in the middle of their own stupidity because you know all these all these evil people are you know fighting for control, fighting for dominance, and they end up killing each other. And they end up killing each other. They pay for their stupidity right in the middle of their stupidity. Thieves, they get busted, they get caught, they wind up going to jail, they wind up paying back the amount they stole or sometimes even more with interest you, people who are money laundering you know white collar criminals they're trying to, they're already rich they're taking advantage of their employees they're not paying them fair wages they're probably tearing down the homes of the poor i was like is that talked about in this particular chapter um i was like it talked about somewhere about taking advantage of the poor um, taking advantage of the poor underneath. Okay, verse 19, for he is oppressed and forsaken the poor. He has violently seized a house which he did not build. And then go down to verse 20. Because he knows no quietness in his heart, he will not save anything he desires. Nothing is left for him to eat. Therefore, his well-being will not last. These people who are taking advantage of other people, they lose their companies. They get fired. They get locked up. They lose the money that they stole. Evil does get theirs in this life. Now, he was wrong because he was re re uh, blah, blah, blah. he was trying to apply all of this to Job. And Job wasn't guilty of any of this. But the wicked do pay for their junk down here. They do something wrong a lot of the times. I don't know how many times out of ten. Maybe not as high as nine. I dare to say as high as seven or eight. They pay for it in this life. They get theirs in this life. They don't get away with their crap. And I want I just kind of want to give credit where credit's due. These guys were wrong because they were pointing the finger at an innocent man, but the wicked do get their just desserts. Oftentimes, oftentimes, down here, they, are, they lose what they've stolen. Their lives are short-lived. Those who live and kill with the sword. The people who steal get stolen from. The people who hurt others, they themselves get hurt. Wickedness doesn't pay. It doesn't prosper. Maybe for a minute, but then it just disappears because there is no place found for the wicked. They get what's coming to them even in this life. And the trap that they set, they themselves fall into it, or they fall into another evil person's trap. And thus, they still get their comeuppance. So, Job's friends, very wrong for pointing the finger at Job and assuming he did something wrong when there was no evidence. Or even really, because he was an innocent man, they had no track record of him doing something wrong. They certainly had no evidence of him doing something wrong currently. They were right about the wicked getting theirs. That part was not incorrect. And I wanted to take a minute, take a chapter to point out the truthfulness and what they said there. The wicked, they get theirs in this life as well as the next. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you. 
God bless.